Hello and welcome to this new feature on my YouTube channel. I write a column for Work the Left Side, which is a British wrestling fanzine um, that has been around a few issues. And what I thought I'd do is my column features nowhere else other than in this magazine. So, first of all, buy the magazine. That's at Work the Left Side, or via, that's their Twitter, or email them workthelefside at gmail.com, or go to their online shop workthelefside.bigcartel.com. You can get all the back issues. There's been three so far. Um, what I thought I'd do now is I thought I would read the first column that I wrote for them. It's called Unsung Heroes. This article was originally intended to be read out as a segment on the podcast Baz and Kez's British Body Slam uh, a few while, a while back. Unfortunately, that show is no longer with us, so I thought that it'd make a perfect debut piece for my new monthly column here at Work the Left Side. I was very flattered when asked by Baz and Kez to feature in their Unsung Hero segment on the show, the concept being that they'd read out a written piece by a non-wrestling talent, an unsung hero as it were, about what they do on the British wrestling scene. However, when thinking about what to write, I realised something glaringly obvious. I'm really not an unsung hero at all. Think about it. I've done the tux and ring announce for Fight Club Pro and Future, Club, Future Shock Wrestling. I've done the Ridiculous Magicians outfit and commentate for Pro Wrestling For You, New Wave Wrestling Alliance, HXC, Future Shock and House of Pain Evolution. I manage my evil stable, the Magic Circle and Full House Wrestling. I stand in front of the green screen and do the backstage interviews for BCW. Plus I've worked elsewhere for a number of other companies over the years and have been the host of three different Brit Rest podcasts too. I'm not unsung at all, I'm very... um... sung? I get to be involved in British wrestling in high profile gigs as a performer. I'm a lucky guy and I'm very happy with what I do. I am genuinely touched every time I get a Magic Mark chant or a friendly tweet or I'm asked for a photo with someone's child or a handshake from a fan or anything like that. So I'm not an unsung hero, but I can name you dozens. And I'm going to. Apologies to anyone that deserves a mention that I miss out because I'm bound to. There are so many people who helped me along the way in my six plus year journey so far through British wrestling. And I'm taking this as an opportunity to say thank you to all of these people. Firstly, disreputable promotions might steal people's photos, but no one ever actually thanks the photographers. Anyone that can take a photo of a skinny, bald, with spectacled late 30s bloke and make them look good is incredibly talented. And I've had some fantastic photographs taken by Tony Knox, Jamie Simpson, Jake Servo, Gray Davison and Gordon Harris amongst others. Thank you. The staff work in the sound booth have an incredibly difficult task. Their work is something that people tend to ignore until it goes wrong. It's unjust that one unforeseen circumstance, anything from a computer crashing to an incorrectly named theme tune, will garner such derision from the fans. Sound guys work hard with tech that I would constantly botch, and I admire what they do. Chris Leary, Adam Crawford, Alan Wilde, Steve Farlow, et al. Take a bow. Thank you. I'm a commentator for the most part these days, and every commentary track needs footage to be put over. Cameramen are berated for getting in the way while doing their job, but you don't complain when the DVD quality is decent. The people that mix the DVDs do a job that is way beyond me too. I admire the work that the techie types do because it's such a difficult thing. Take a look at your BritRest DVD collection chronologically. You might be surprised just how far the quality of footage has come in the last 10 years. And this is down to dedicated staff like Aaron Bailey, Dave Roberts, Dean Puckering, Stephen Tovey, Adam Churek, Andy Worsley and Matt Hall. Thank you. You may have noticed that I wear deliciously gaudy waistcoat and trouser combos when I'm commentating. The more observant amongst you might notice that the shirts and dicky bows that I wear with them are actually the corporate colours of the companies that I work for. My custom outfits have been made by two merch girls and custom cunts, and I adore them. So thank you. The day I got my own entrance theme, and video, 
was a surreal one. I couldn't really believe it as I went out there and there was my name on the Future Shock projector screen as it's, as it's a kind of magic by Queen played. It was made by Chris Garrett. You may know him as G-Man. Thank you. One thing that you might not know is that I trained at the Future Shock training school for 18 or so months. The reality is that I was too old and not all that good. But the fact that I can do anything in the ring, some, something that has been vital in my role at Full House as a manager and has allowed me to fulfil a live stream by entering the PCW Rumble, this is down to the fantastic training I received. My understanding of wrestling was also improved by actually learning how to do it, which has helped to hone my commentary skills too. My trainers were Dave Rain and Xander Cooper. Thank you. I've probably missed a shed load of people out. And apologies to anyone else that's deserved a mention. But that's the point, isn't it? There are so many talented, capable, enthusiastic, hard-working people involved in wrestling beyond the frontline wrestling talent. Real unsung heroes. It would take forever to mention them all because there's so many Brit Rest shows. But know you're appreciated. Every single person that contributes to a show is a vital cog in a massive machine. And as both a fan and a ring announcer commentator manager backstage interviewer, I salute you.